Hi, this is Fatima. Here let us discuss ASP.NET Core app settings.json file in detail. Before proceeding to watch this video, watch my previous video where we discussed about determination of internal and external web server by using launch settings.json file in ASP.NET Core. ASP.NET Core Configuration Sources If you worked with the previous versions of ASP.NET application, then you might know that the importance of web.config file. We generally used web.config file to store the application configuration settings such as database connection strings and any application scope, global variables and many more. But in ASP.NET Core, the application configuration settings comes from different configuration sources such as files, user secrets, environment variables and command line arguments. These files might be appsettings.json. When we create a new ASP.NET Core web application with the empty project template, then it automatically creates the app settings.json file for us. If you open the app settings.json file, then you see this code. As it is a JSON file, we need to store the value in the form of key value pair. I am going to add a key with the name first key within this file. Let's see how to access this configuration information in ASP.NET Core application. To access that configuration information within the startup class, you need to use iConfiguration service which is provided by ASP.NET Core framework. What you need to do is just inject the iConfiguration service through the constructor of the startup class. CTOR for constructor, press tab twice to insert the constructor snippet. Pass this I configuration service as the parameter. Press control period to include the namespaces. Create a private variable of type i configuration and through constructor dependency injection we inject the i configuration object and store it within the private variable. In the previous versions of ASP.NET application the dependency injection design pattern was optional. But if you want to configure it in your application, then you need to use some of the frameworks like Ningent, Structure Map, Auto Factor, IUnity Container, etc. But in this ASP.NET Core application, this dependency injection is an integral part and a framework provides a inbuilt support for this dependency injection. So the dependency injection design pattern allows us to develop loosely coupled systems which are extensible and also easily testable. If this is not clear at this moment, don't worry, we will discuss this about later in detail. By using this iConfiguration service instance, you can access that configuration variable store. See the value accessed from the configuration. See the value we success from the configuration of app settings.json. Configuration execution order. If you have the configuration setting in multiple configuration sources with the same configuration key, then the later configuration sources will override the earlier configuration sources. The default order of reading the configuration sources are first app settings.json and the value is overridden by app settings.environment.json file and the value 
overridden by user secrets and the value in the user secrets are overridden by environment variables and the value in the environment variables is overridden by command line arguments if all have the same key with with different values as you see in the main method of the program class calls the create webhost builder method which in turn calls create default builder method of the webhost class this create default builder method is a method which sets the default order in which all the configuration sources are read as the asp.net core is open source you can find the code of the webhost class in the github link you can change this default order or even if you want to add your own custom configuration sources along with the existing configuration sources you can do it by using the github let us understand the configuration execution order in asp.net core application before understanding the execution order let us have a look at this app settings.development.json file you can find this file within the app settings.json file and we are using the same key as we use in the app settings.json now run the application and see the output as you see this output it fetches the value from the first key from app settings.development.json file the point is that if we have configuration setting in multiple configuration sources with the same configuration key then the later configuration will override the earlier configuration sources now we already have first key in two places app settings.json and app settings.development.json now are the same key with different values in the ias express profile of launch settings.json With this change now run the application it should display the value coming from this environment variable It's clear from this output Pass the config value from the command line in asp.net core application Open the command prompt change your directory to your application project folder and type .net run the key and press enter the browser and type that url you can see the value passed via command line argument if you enjoy this video our next video is about middleware in asp.net code thank you